And well, now for more with the doctor than a minute ago, we told you about the possible link between regular use of acetaminophen, best known as Tylenol, of course, and the development of some cancers of the blood. With me now to help put this concerning news into perspective for us is Dr. John Kachamani from Temple University Hospital. Thanks so much for being here with us today, Dr. Kachamani. Glad to be here. Explain this news. What, what are we talking about here? Well, the, the study basically uh, found that, uh, or at least ledges to find, that the incidence of uh, bloodborne cancers has increased with very long term use of Tylenol, consistent regular use four times a day for four years. So then, sort of break it down for us. What is the dosage that, let's say, an adult should be taking with mm -hmm, Tylenol sure. to not run into the problems of, of chronic overuse yeah. or, or abuse? Sure, absolutely. Tylenol is a very common drug, as everyone knows. Uh, 325 milligrams is a typical pill. 500 milligrams is the extra strength. Um, typically, two, 325 milligrams, one to two pills every four to six hours is what's on the back of the bottle. So people frequently use it uh, at that rate. Um, very unlikely to use it four times times a week consistently for four years. Okay. What else do we need to know about Tylenol? Well, Tylenol is a, is a drug that is, is used by uh, so many people that you often forget how dangerous it potentially can be. Tylenol is one of those drugs where uh, if, if, for instance, if made available to children and they take the pills, uh, is a life-threatening drug at one and two bottle quantities. So you have to be very careful. And, and there's new data that um, even supports the fact that chronic use of, of uh, Tylenol will also increase the risk of liver failure. All right. Well, that's going to have to be the last word. But thank you so much for coming in today and talking to us about this. Happy to Dr. be here. Dr. Kachmani, thank, thank you. you.